Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. This is the Banana Pied R2 Pro which I introduced long time ago. Recently, I received inquiries on how to install OpenWRT for this router ball since it has a built-in eMMC storage. In this video, I will show you how to install OpenWRT into the eMMC storage of the PPI R2 Pro. After that, we will check out the device throughput with a simple PPE speed test. OpenWRT firmware from BananaPi is out of date and there are problems with DSA, fit sample, VLAN is not working fine. Fortunately, MJ22226 and all the developers are maintaining an up-to-date OpenWRT version which can be used for the PPI R2 Pro and all the SPC with Rockchip SOC, such as the NanoPi R4S, RockPi 4, etc. In this video, I will use OpenWRT from him. Link to this guy is available in the video description. You can find all the resources, including the initial image and the system upgrade image for the installation. First, you need to download the PPI R2 Pro SD2 eMMC flash image and burn it to a 16GB micro SD card using Rufus or your preferred application. Once the image is written on the micro SD card, insert it to the PPI R2 Pro. Now, press and hold the mushroom button while connecting the power cable. The PPI R2 Pro should boot up OpenWRT. Next, connect your PC to the PPI R2 Pro's LAN port. After that, log in to Lucy. On the system, custom command, press the run button to flash the firmware to the internal eMMC. If you receive an error message such as no space left on slash dev slash eMMC, you can try to boot up OpenWRT on the SD card again. If it still fail, try to install OpenWRT firmware to the eMMC storage using the USB cables and Rockchip developer tool. Else, you should see a success message like what is showing on the screen right now. Once OpenWRT will flash to the eMMC, remove the power cable, remove the micro SD card, and boot up the PPI R2 Pro. Now OpenWRT is running on the eMMC storage. Let's download the latest system upgrade image for the PPI R2 Pro. Next, log into Lucy, go to System. Backup and flash firmware to update the PPI R2 Pro with the firmware you have downloaded. Let's wait for a few minutes and you should be good to go. Here is the latest OpenWRT version running on the PPI R2 Pro. It is time for a simple speed test. For this test, the one interface is configured as PPE client. It is running on VLAN 35 as you can see, ETH 0.35. The software authoring is enabled and packet steering is enabled as well. Let's check out the throughput. We are having 926 MPPS download with 27 CPU idle or 33% CPU load. For upload, the CPU is at 59% idle or 41% CPU load for 914 MPPS throughput. Let's have another test before turning off shortwave offloading. Now, I will disable shortwave offloading on the firewall settings. As you can see, the speed test dropped to 647 MPPS with the CPU load at 60%, or 39% CPU idle as you can see from the top command. For upload, the speed is 834 MPPS with the CPU at 66% idle. I will run another test and let's check out the CPU utilization together.
So far, we have installed OpenWRT on the Banana Pi R2 Pro and it's were working great. Right. That is all for this video. Let's explore more in the next one. Thanks for watching and see you again.